What's going on guys? Coming at you with another video. We're going to be doing an install on some brake rotors, brake pads, and a little side mirror. Uh, my friends, um, Chevy Cruz. Uh, but shout out to Jonathan for the GoPro 8. We're going to be using that for a minute and see how that works out. If I like it, I'm probably going to go purchase one. But if I don't, I'm probably going to get that GX7. But we'll see what happens. But today we're just going to be working on this bad boy. And then guess what? We got a little, we got a little, we got a little turbo right there. Yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be doing an install on this little um, brake pads, rotors, all around. And then we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be fixing this little side mirror as well. I don't even think he got a mirror in it, but <laughs> funny as hell. But we're gonna be doing that today. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard of a process. I'm, I'm gonna just take you guys along the way. Alright guys, look at this. Literally metal on metal contact. Damn, he had none left. Look at the back. Look at that shit. <laughs> Fucking angel. Damn, those are really bad. But yeah, the front. The front looked like it still had a Nah. <laughs> that shit dead. <laughs> yeah, that's why we were replacing them. We got that. We got the little springs that attach to it. Put some grease on it. So, oh, okay, just like that, I guess. So you take off this, dip it in grease, and then you put it back in, all right? Make sure you don't get this dirty either. All right, guys, in order to remove the, the caliper from the back, you need to get rid of this um, e-brake. So what you wanna do is grab this, literally pull it, get the, get the straw there, keep pushing it down, you know, just wiggle it out, go like that, and then get that little, get this guy right here loose. You wanna take it out. So uh, unclip it from this side, push these two out, and then push it out. You do wanna disconnect it from these guys right over here though. Um, disconnect it from there. Well, just take it out of the, out of the place. And then take that off, take the e-brake off first, and then take the caliper off, just set this to the side. Set it like that. Uh, to take the caliper off, you wanna take the caliper uh, caliper first, and then the bracket. So it looks like the, this one first, this one right here, and then this one back here. There's gonna be one at the bottom and then one at the top, just like um, just like the front. So you want, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But low key angel, you probably need some new, some new suspension, bro. Look at that, Jesus. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And just take it off, and then I'm gonna bungee cord the caliper as well. All right, guys, a little update. So we got uh, the bra <laughs> the little baby ones in the back. Um, you can tell they need new ones because 
of those little scars right there like with the rotors and stuff that's what made the brake pads really damaged because if you have this and you're doing it on this it's not a good combo it should work it wears out the brake pads more just by having this like that's that's unacceptable like damn like shit but yeah all right so we got the caliper off i had a bungee cord right, i have a bungee cord right there and then yeah she's gonna have to take off this t20 screw take the disc off and then we should have one wondering bolts so this was a 14 or you could do the t the t screws doesn't really matter i did the 14 millimeter i didn't even see the t screws back there but yeah 14 works perfect as well so that looks like a t30 or t40 but um and then you want to grab one of the wrenches and grab it back here if it spins just so it doesn't like uh move or it doesn't like doesn't lose its place so you want to go ahead and do that and then these guys up here were uh 15s right let me see that's the thing yep 15 millimeters so we got that take that out and then right now i'm just going to be taking off the disc brakes all right guys so what you want to do is i went into walmart and bought a wire brush literally it says wire brush on there and what you want to do is on the calipers you want to get rid of like all the rust right here where the bracket goes on just so it could be like a little bit smoother so with the same wire brush you want to just clean up around here as well just to get rid of a little bit of the rust just so it can be a little bit smoother and stuff and after that you want to apply anti-seize all around here so when you put the rotor on so what you want to do is clean like the surface grease that comes with the rotors the only reason why they put grease is just so it can be like lubricated and doesn't like like uh, get rusty and all that and all that gritty stuff so what you want to use is just use any work ordinary uh, bark uh, brake cleaner uh, you can get this one I got the pro series All right, so you want to grab some um, anti-seize. I got these at AutoZone for like 10 bucks. I'm just gonna grab some. Oh shit. All right, put some on the lid. You want to just put it on like the edges back here. All right guys, so you just want to add some thread locker on that bolt. Just put like a little dab. Doesn't have to be much, just put it on there so it doesn't vibrate off. You wanna just put it right on there. You wanna just grab it, probably clean it a little bit, just to get some fresh grease in there. Clean it a little bit. And then you wanna grease it again. Get as much grease as you can, or just a little bit. Just grab that, like, that much. And then just stick it back in there. <laughs> like that, and then press it down. And clean up the grease a little bit just like that and then do the same thing for the other side um, put anti-seize over here so it doesn't squeak put the brake pads back on put the rotor back on put some thread locker on the screw right there put some anti-seize in the back of this right here and that's gonna be the same procedure for all four of the tires, or all four of the rotors. Um, I'm just gonna be doing a little speed. I'm probably not gonna show you guys because I already did it on that one. But just follow the same procedure I did on all four. What's going on guys? Uh, it is the next day and unfortunately the brake pads on the rear were not the right ones that you're supposed to get so i'm gonna go to autozone real quick get the right ones and then just give him that one so he can return them but you know we had to get that young coffee real quick Ew. real quick ah, yes. it is currently 7 33 a.m in the morning we're gonna be going to autozone we're going to the one on lewis because it says that they have them there so I'm gonna go pick those up real quick since, uh, since I am in Waukee. All right, so we just made it back to the crib. It's a little bit messy, but we got parts everywhere, but I kind of know where everything's at. So uh, right now I'm just gonna be tackling the rear. I already got the rotor on there. 
put some thread locker on the thing right here put some thread locker on the back bolt spec here and then yeah put everything on I already put anti-seize on the bracket put the uh put the brand new um little brackets like these put them brand new on, on there all right guys so a little update on the rears you do need to twist the twist the caliper so you can go back in and the way you do it is by buying one of these tools because you can't you can't squeeze the caliper like you, how you squeeze it in the front with these newer models uh i want to say like 2010 and up or 20 I don't, I don't, i'm gonna be honest with you i don't know what years but with these newer model calipers you do need to buy one of these um kits you can either rent one out at autozone or you can go buy it at harbor freight i want to go buy one at harbor freight i just i've had this like for i want to say like a year now it works great um yeah uh so the way you want to do it is here let me put this and tell you that so these two notches are the ones that are got to be twisted so in order to do that you need to go get one of these i use number six really put that right there and you just twist it with the cal with this set. So you just twist it, just you know. All right, so I'm gonna try to uh, see if it goes in. Oh yeah, plenty of clearance. So yeah, you just want to do that for the rears, and you should be good. Should be golden. But. All right guys, so I just finished with all four rotors. I did the, the back, the front, uh, the two ones over there. And then right now we're just gonna be working on the mirror. So what you gotta do with that. All right guys, we have another uh, mix up. So there's a mirror right here, you know, and it's not the same color. <laughs> yeah, let, me get into, let me get into the light. It's not the same color. This one has like a little blue metallic other than this one's like a little darker gray. All right guys, so I went ahead and uh, pulled apart the door panel. Uh, the way you wanna do it is there's a screw right here uh, eight mil or uh, seven millimeter one right there and then there's gonna be two right here so this is the part right here so you want to uh, it goes in like that you want to like shove this in through there and it should go in like that and like it should clip on so just uh, pry from the top pry up like that keep prying until it goes like that and then just push it out and it should be all good and then there should be another screw by the speaker down there it should be like over here underneath the door panel it's gonna be another um, seven millimeter and then I went ahead and just pulled this apart because you need to get to those two bolts that are down there you're gonna be two 10 million 10 uh, mil bolts right there so you need to take those off. in order for those bolts to come off so you don't lose them in, inside the little cabin a little um, a little trick that I picked up watching YouTube videos is if you put like a little paper towel in here and you stick it in there it kind of acts like a magnet if you don't if you can't afford like the magnetic um sockets so uh, this is what i do i just literally just stick it in there all right guys so i just went ahead and put in the new mirror already so it's going to be those two bolts you take it off and you just pull it and then it's going to be a connector right here you just uh push on one side it's just a regular pin and then make sure the wash is in there so it doesn't get any water in there so no water damages or no rust will form or anything any sorts like that
I'm gonna start the car. And then before you even go on to drive, you need to um, you need to press on the brakes. I think he has an e-brake in here, but so it's currently 11:44. So we went to Starbucks and stuff. We went around what, like seven, seven twenty. So right now, we're... but everything seems to be good. There's a stop coming up. Just gonna. It was pretty easy, you know, I kind of learned this in like high school. So I'm about to graduate college, so kind of, kind of a long run for me, you know? But um, yeah, I hope you guys learned something on the way and stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna be working on the red car. It comes out, uh, turns out that I actually have a fuel leak in the red car. So probably gonna upgrade to some six, six AN fittings, you know, so maybe in the future I could run some E85, but without a turbo, it's not gonna do much, probably like 20 horsepower, 10 horsepower. But you know, it's just the fact that you're running E85, you know, it's just, it's just for the, it's just for the, it's just for the cap, you know? It's dusty, man, it's dusty. But I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hope you guys enjoy. Peace.